Thank you, Doctor. This would be good. I, my speech would be probably not quite as long as that introduction. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Uh, and I, I tell you, Ronald Reagan and Donald Trump, I think, are my favorite presidents. I just think they're terrific because they, they, uh, they had a big view of the world and they, they changed things. But uh, you're changing things here. This is, uh, this, is a, this is a big deal. I'm happy to see my friends from York County who work down in the, in the House and the Senate, Ray and Brandon and, and Bruce. Bruce, as you know, was sheriff for a long time, and that's one of the things that, that makes South Carolina a special place. I'll say just briefly, as, as we look around this field, I just I love coming to these things because it's always positive. Even when the gnats are here, it's always positive. <laughs> If you got the fans on, the nets aren't so bad, but uh, I, I'm sorry about y'all standing in the sunshine, but it is sunshiny. This is South Carolina. Y'all, this is where all the growth is taking place, according to all the experts. It's the, it's the sunny states, we call them. South Carolina's right in the middle of it. Nobody's got more potential than we do. And one reason is because we're like a big family, like these people I mentioned. We talk to each other, work together, work with anybody. I have friends come in from other places that say they always know when they're in South Carolina. They don't have to look at a map, look at a sign. How do you know? They say, because when I go to a restaurant between placing my order and getting my bill, the waitress will call me honey, sweetie, darling, and dear. That's how I know I'm in South Carolina. And on your way home, on your way, go and get yourself a cup of coffee or somewhere and just test that. And I guarantee you some total stranger right behind the counter will call you baby. It's one of the greatest things, but that shows an open heart. It shows an understanding, and we don't have a lot of the troubles and fusses that they have in other places because in our history, we've been through everything from the very beginning, starting in 1670. It's a longer speech, a longer study. If you want to uh, read Walter Edgar's book, it's a great history of South Carolina. It explains some of that, but it all brings us to where we are today, and that is a beautiful natural environment the one that the explorers were writing back to their sovereigns way back in the 15 and 1600s saying this place that we today call South Carolina is the most beautiful, the most abundant, the most fertile of the, all of the new world at that time that they had just begun to discover. And it's still that way. And when people come to vacation or they come to look at South Carolina, they look at the people and they look at the environment. You don't see them staring at the big buildings and marveling. You see them looking at the streams and the mountains and the, the bays and the water. We got lots of water. We really have it all. And it is a perfect place for an innovative company like this one to come to, to settle. And we are, we are delighted. I first, I guess it was back at the Heritage. Uh, Kevin and I were there talking and he was talking about coming coming across the, the border. And I was very impressed with him then, and now that he's here, I'm even more impressed, <laughs> and, and more impressed with, with this, this company. Uh, Round Point is a, a great company, and I promise you this, we will do the state, the government, the local government, the local leadership, it's all like a family. And nobody, we can't ever fuss at each other because we're liable to be related, and you don't even know, we're all one big. There was a, there was a, a young lawyer out in the country he said when he first started out, one of the most interesting types of questions he'd get every time they come in and say, well, Mr. Lawyer, I got a question. He said, what is it? He said, well, if we married in South Carolina and divorced in Georgia, are we still cousins? <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> but this is, this is a different place. And once we realize that it is a different place, and once we realize that we're on the top of the world, and if we keep the people safe and keep the taxes low and get rid of the unnecessary regulations and educate the children, then there's nothing that can stop South Carolina. Every now and then you read a story like there was one about the technical college system being in poor shape. Well, that's dead wrong. Secretary Wilbur Ross, U.S. Secretary of Commerce, has said three or four times in, in my presence, South Carolina has the best workforce development system in the whole United States. And that means in the whole world, because nobody can do it like we do it. So this is, this is a, great, a great day. And I look forward to seeing the building Round Point, I like the name. I look forward to seeing that building because, Kevin, as, as one business, one industry, one group of people move in, another will move in, and then another, and they all make each other stronger. And final point, what is the significance? York County has had so much growth in, in just the last year. I think it's the record in the state, Doctor, you're telling me, in, 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 in the nation. In the, well, I understand. 
job growth, look, look at it, look at it. But I was speaking to a school superintendent in a rural county that does not have anything like this, have nothing like this. And I asked her, I said, doctor, what, what would it mean if a company, a manufacturing plant, an office building, if would 500 workers, good paid jobs, moved in to this county? And she took off her glasses and put down a pencil and said, that would change everything in our county because they have nothing like that. And in this county, we're going gangbusters and that'll spread all over the state. So I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, happy for this great occasion. I appreciate you inviting me. And we're going to keep it up because there's that great philosopher, Tim McGraw says, also a country music singer. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. So we're going to keep on doing this. And Kevin, if you'll come forward, please, I have something for you. <laughs> this is on behalf of almost 5 million happy, proud South Carolinians. Oh, thank you. We're glad you're making your home thank here. You. That's the state flag. Appreciate and it. And we look forward to working thank with you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.